break in the rain? Yeah, it's coming soon, but uh, for now, we're still trying to get these totals to go up, unfortunately. Look at these totals since midnight. It was a record day for us here in Portland. Uh, over an inch and a half in Portland since midnight last night. One point uh, nearly three inches in Vancouver, and we had almost an inch and three quarters down in Eugene, and that's on top of about an inch that came down across most of the valley yesterday. 48 degrees out there right now. You can see the rain still coming down. South winds coming in at five, and here's a look at the radar, and you can see we're we're back to rain coming down along downtown areas, but the big difference now is it is not coming down nearly as heavily as what we saw earlier today. And the lighter the green is, the lighter that rain is. So out towards uh, Irvington, Hollywood, District, Laurelhurst, uh, you can see uh, fairly light showers coming down that way. Back between Portland and Beaverton, though, we still have some moderately heavy rain coming down. Same thing in Tigard. That's going to continue to head east, but you get out towards Hillsboro and Forest Grove, and we are in the clear, and uh, we're going to be looking at dry conditions sticking around there uh, and working its way eastward into the rest of the metro in the valley for the rest of the evening pretty much. Uh, as you head to the east along I-84 back to the gorge north Bonneville, we're still getting some moderately heavy rain there and then of course for the Cascades, snow coming down. Uh, for the coast, we're definitely catching that break from the rain with just a few spotty showers popping up. So the back edge of this is on its way in and that's going to give us some dry time tonight and as we go through uh, the rest of Friday too. So for the evening future, Future radar keeps the rain back to our east and in the gorge, and then we go into the overnight hours. This is as we go towards Friday morning, and you can see uh, there may be a couple of little showers that pop up first thing in the morning, so we can't rule that out, but we're going to be looking at plenty of dry time, and once we get through the morning, it's going to be back to the sunshine. Meanwhile, uh, we had that little switch over to rain at the, at the mountain yesterday, but we are back to a full-fledged snow. It's been snowing all day at Mount Hood Meadows, and this is the camera, and you can see some folks there enjoying some of the night skiing, but look at the snow coming down. Temperatures up there in the 20s at Cascade and uh, at the top of Blue, we're at 26 degrees to the blue chair there at Mount Hood Meadows, and at the base, we're, we're down to 31. So temperatures are dropping there. And we're almost to the freezing mark, even at Ski Bowl. So we're switching things over to all snow for our ski resorts, and we're looking at a good dose of it uh, to finish off tonight and go into tomorrow. Temperature wise in the valley, upper 40s, but we will do a little better than that tomorrow, thanks to that potential for some sunshine in the afternoon. So we start off cloudy. There's that slight shower chance in the morning, but we go into the afternoon. Partly sunny skies will become mostly sunny, I think, for at least a couple of hours as we clear things out. And those highs get back into the low to mid 50s. So dry time for your Friday. Friday, and then more wet weather ahead as we tap into more of the action that's moving in uh, from the Pacific. So tomorrow morning, here's that cloud cover. There is the chance for a few spotty showers there. Uh, we go into the afternoon. Here's that sunshine that's working its way into most of the valley with uh, clouds mainly just lingering and hugging up against the higher terrain. And then tomorrow night, we stay dry, but the clouds roll back in. We get more snow going tomorrow night for the mountains. Saturday morning arrives, and we'll have the chance for light rain. And then we'll have rain on and off for most of Saturday, but it all stays on the light side. Meanwhile, more snow for the Cascades. We head towards Sunday and we get ready for yet another system. This one will be wetter. So of the two days this weekend, Sunday is going to be the wetter one. So watch out for that. Your forecast for Friday, highs in the low to mid 50s for us up and down the valley. A really nice looking day. Central and east temperatures in the 30s and 40s there. Your seven day forecast showing temperatures drop after tomorrow or back to the 40s. Lows will be down into the 30s at night and uh, we'll see unsettled weather stick around pretty much through the early part of next week before it tries to dry out a bit by Wednesday and Thursday. So unsettled weather sticking around, but there's a nice little break from the action for just in time for Friday. So enjoy it. And again, some sunshine in the forecast to look forward to. And it's amazing, even that 24 hours, how quickly we can dry out. We can. It's been tough, though. We have flood advisors in effect till 745 because for now, we still have some leftover yeah. water on the roads. And already, we're only midway through February. Mm -hmm. We're at the sixth wettest February on record. We may be looking at the top five here soon. I can wow. believe it. Yeah, right, Kristen, too. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, still ahead tonight.